Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're building a retro weather station with Adafruit's Pi Portal. With twice as many pixels, the Pi Portal Titano has a bigger screen with the Cortex M4 and the ESP32. This uses the Open Weather Maps API to display your local weather, your city of choice, and the date and time. We set this up with alarms so you can create custom reminders and even playback audio. It's time to take out the trash. Don't forget to watch out for trash pandas. You can use the touchscreen or the hardware buttons to snooze or dismiss the alarms. The icons are inspired by 8-bit graphics and the fonts are stylized like a dot matrix printer. With all this screen, it's only fitting we made the graphics go with the 3D printed case. The case has access to the USB-C port and there's even a spot for the speaker on the side. Like most of our designs, the case snap fits so it's easy to put together or take apart. It's easy to customize the fonts and graphics so you can create your own weather station. Huge shout out to Liz Clark for writing the code for this project in CircuitPython. The alarms are set up in a separate file so it's easy to customize the time or add your own. You can also display your favorite holidays or create your own special day. Be sure to check out Liz Clark's video on how she wrote the code, links in the description. You can install the latest version of CircuitPython by heading over to the website. Select your hardware and choose to download the stable release or the latest beta. Just double press the reset button to get the Pi Portal into the bootloader mode. Connect the board over USB and drag and drop to install the firmware. The code and libraries live on the device so it's accessible on any computer. I designed the 3D printed case with a snap fit assembly so it's pretty easy to put together. The parts are printed without any support material so they're ready to go right off the printer. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. We'll start the assembly by putting together the buttons with the mounting plate. The button PCBs are secured with a few nylon screws and hex nuts. The Stemma cables are plug and play so there's no need to solder anything. The button assembly fits inside the case and is secured with additional nylon screws. Be sure to press those buttons to get a feel for their clickiness. Place the Pi Portal onto the screen cover and line up the mounting tabs. You'll want to use M3 screws to secure the PCB to the built-in standoffs. Place the screen over the faceplate and line up the mounting tabs. Additional M3 screws are used to secure these parts together. After that, we can plug in the stemma cables from the two buttons. The mini oval speaker connects to the audio port on the back of the Pi Portal. Then we can snap fit the faceplate onto the case with the ports lined up with the cutouts. The speaker is press fitted into the holder on the side of the case. And lastly, we can install the back cover. And there you have it, that's how easy it is to put this together. We think this IoT project is really good for folks just getting started, so if you're looking to build cool projects, be sure to check out the Learn Guide. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.